we've seen how sips are made, but now let's destroy a few to see how strong they are. And for that, we're going to the NTA testing facility in Indiana. So how do you know your house will stay standing when Mother Nature gets violent? At NTA Labs in Napanee, Indiana, they pull out all the stops to see just how much your building materials can take. All right, so wh what is NTA? What do you guys do here? Anything related to building products within our product scope of certification, we can test. Along with traditional building materials, these days they're also testing a lot of prefabricated products. This is a SIP panel, so this has actually the foam in it. Yes. It's got two pieces of OSB. Yes. One on one side, one on the other. And that's, you don't usually see pieces of OSB that big. This is made out of a jumbo panel. This is an eight foot wide, 12 foot tall assembly. You might find this type of assembly used as a wall or a roof. So we want to know just how much weight it can take. This is the axial load test. And what happens is that this giant device puts thousands of pounds of pressure on top of the SIP panel to test its compressive strength. They've got 90,000 pounds bearing down. That's like 20 mid-sized trucks sitting on the wall. And they keep upping the pressure. Yeah, every minute we're going to put an additional 10,000. 100,000. Good God. That's it. How high'd you get? Uh, I think it just broke over 100,000. Just over 100,000 pounds. Just over 100,000? Over 100,000 pounds it took to do that. It's damaged, but still standing. So snow loads, water beds. You're going to have a whole party up there <laughs> on your house, on your roof, and I think you're going to be just fine. I think you'll be fine. Now that's what happened when we pressed on top of the panel. In the next test, we're going to lay it flat and apply a different kind of pressure. So you call this the suck test. All right. It's a transverse wind load test. Transverse yeah. wind load test. We have vacuum motors on the bottom of this table, and we're going to suck the air out of this wooden box that we've built. All right. Well, let's get sucking. In this test, they're applying uniform pressure over the panel. Again, simulating wind or even snow load. They get up to 8,000 pounds of pressure, and then... That was violent. Yeah. You could have put over 8,000 pounds of snow on this panel at the point where it failed. Now we have even bigger things in mind. This panel measures 20 feet long. Bigger panel, bigger vacuum. Let's see what happens. Action. The longer panel went a little earlier, at 5,600 pounds, but it still held up pretty well. It looks like it, it didn't actually break. Yeah, it bends before it breaks, and that'll give you an indication if the wall is overstressed. Two tests down, one to go. The next one simulates hurricane force winds. All right, well, let's see the missile. Oh, yeah. This thing's going to fly on at how many miles an hour? 34 miles an hour. Yes. We got a sip and 2x6 construction with drywall and OSB. We'll compare how they do. Let's fire some missiles. First, we'll take aim at the drywall and OSB. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, jeez. So this would uh, clearly be a failure. Whoa, clearly. Without any insulation to slow it down, the missile went clean through. That wind will enter the, the house or the building. You'll create a, a positive pressure on the inside of the house. And that's where you see the windows exploding out of the homes, walls blowing out. Absolutely, the whole Wizard of Oz right. pop the roof off. Now we'll shoot at the SIP wall with a shoot. foam core. And this time, I'm doing the honors. <laughs> Boink, right back at us. Look at this. That was the same speed, right? Right, 34 miles an 34 hour. 34 miles an hour. It ripped the front, but around the backside, clean. Yep. Nothing. That's, that's impressive. So even though the OSB was cracked, the foam was strong enough to stop our missile. Good to know if you live in storm-prone areas. NTA is all about testing building materials so our homes can withstand the worst conditions.